Ah, what to make, what to make. Is there anything more beautiful than a blank piece of paper? I mean, the possibilities, the, the dreams, the hopes. Maybe it could be a poem or a beautiful drawing or... Oh, you could sit there all day blabbering. Where was... where? Hey, genius, down here. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> what? Uh, how? You know, it's exhausting to hear you talk on and on and on about all the things you could do with me. Enough talk. I'm ready to do something, to be something. <laughs> this can't be real. This can't be real. This can't be real. This can't be real. Yep, still here. Do something. <laughs> hey, uh, don't do that. Hey. Now that was unnecessary. You're not gonna get rid of me that quickly. You think that hurts? You think that's gonna stop me? Come on, we're gonna make beautiful art together. What are you scared of? <laughs> now there's two of us. No! Oh, oh yeah, your, your paper was just doubled. doubled. Really? Again? Such strong emotions! Use it, John! No! Whoa, I'm so lucky to be alive! No! Hey, hey, no! Hey, you treat me like this? Whoa, this is this how you treat your creative places? Oh, is this I'm how you treat your creative places? Quiet! Brandon? Wait. <laughs> is this a dream? Mommy! Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Hey John, this month we are talking all about creativity. Yes, I love creativity. I hey, too. let's create it's something. Let's, right now, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's true. You can be creative anytime, anywhere. Yeah, with anything. It could be with paint or music or dancing or anything. Yeah, sh sure. Usually you'd make some kind of plan before you started creating, but you don't have to. What creativity clearly. is everywhere. That's right. Tall buildings, bridges, museums, those, those ketchup packets you either dip in or pour. Yeah. It's so creative. I know. There are so many ways to create in the world. Yes! <laughs> Let's do that! Do what? Create the world! They've got the whole world on their heads. They've got the world on their heads. Okay, what is happening? What? We're creating the world! Look, we got a blank canvas. We've got a globe and a face. All right. Uh, well, let's get started. Do okay. we have a mirror or something like that? No, we no, we don't. What, we don't, I gotta see what I'm... <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay then. Wow, all yeah. right. Is that how you want it? Okay. Ooh, that's cold. Close your mouth. There you go. <laughs> Good idea. If you could have told me to close mine. I'm sorry, well. All right. I, I didn't take, I thought you could have told. All right. Okay, this is gonna take a little while. Oh, no it's not. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't look like Earth at all. A totally blue planet. It's more like Neptune. Let's add some land. Oh yeah. All right, plants. Plants! <laughs> See, look, right angle shrub. All right, stick it on there. Ow! Right there. Can you, maybe a little gentler? Oh, sorry. It's all right. You know what we need to make now? What? We need to make some animals. Oh, animals. Animals. Is, is that, that a polar bear? It is a polar bear. Where are you gonna put it? I'm gonna put it right up here at the top. Oh. King of the Arctic. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna plant some more. Okay. I like it. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What? Look what I made. What? Oh. Here's us. 
Oh. Yeah, although there's not a lot of room left. Um, oh, I got it, I got it. The world will make room for us. Yeah, that's right. Oh! There we go, look at that! All right! That's awesome! Okay, wait, wait, we're not done yet. Oh, we're not? No, because it's Bible story time with... Kellen! Whoa, looking good, guys. Thank you. Just creating a world like one does. <laughs> it could use a little work, though. Oh. Ugh, still haven't figured out that whole gravity thing yet. Still, it's pretty cool. But do you know the story in the Bible about how God created the world? I do, but I bet not everyone does. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and share it again? Take it away, Kellen. Our story today starts in the book of Genesis, the first verse of the first book in the Bible. And it says, in the beginning, God created. It's important to know that God is creative. And that was very evident from the very beginning. We read that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the earth didn't have a shape. Darkness stretched across the entire formless planet. There was nothing there. Nothing except God. And God said, let there be light. And for the first time in history, there was light. God looked at the light and saw that it was good. So that was the first day. God was there creating, bringing light where there was none. But God wasn't finished. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. And wouldn't you know it? A huge space formed that wasn't there before. God looked at the huge space and gave it a name, the sky. And that was the second day. On the third day, God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground appear. And that's what happened. The dry ground was called land, and God called the water the sea. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce plants, and let there be trees on the land that grow fruit with seeds in it. So the land produced plants, fruit trees, pine trees, clover and cactus, palm trees and lily pads. God made all the plants and saw that it was good. Day three. So we got light and dark, sky, land, plants. What's next? Well, God said, let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. God made the stars, the ones that burn in the night that we can see, and the stars that only telescopes can see even the ones that telescopes can't see. Then God made the sun and the moon, the sun that brings us warmth and light and helps the plants grow, and the moon that lights up the beautiful night sky. God looked at the vast universe at the end of the fourth day and saw that it was mwah, good. But God wasn't finished. Next, God said, let the seas be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of the sky. So God made every kind of living thing in the water. I'm talking about whales and sharks and octopi and tuna and crawdads and trout. And God also made the birds, sparrows, parrots, robins and wrens, hawks and crows. And I'm even talking about the ostrich. God looked at everything once again and saw that it was good. And that was day five. On the sixth day, things got a little noisy. God said, let the land produce every kind of living creature. And all the animals in the world were created. Wolverines, lemurs, squirrels, and the platypus, polar bears, and antelopes. God also made cows and horses, chicken and goats. And again, God looked at what had been created and saw that it was good. God was almost done, but there was one final thing to create, something special, 
a crowning achievement. Then God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. So God made people and they were created in God's image. Now, we don't know exactly what that means, but it's amazing. It's amazing to know that every time you pass someone in the grocery store or every friend you have at school or your sister or your brother, each of them was created in the image of God. God planned from the very beginning to make humans special. Finally, God looked at everything that had been made and it was very good. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were complete. Our amazingly powerful and endlessly creative God created the whole world. And you know what happened on the seventh day? God rested. And I'll say it was well earned. The end. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, kind of makes our creation pale in comparison. <laughs> I mean, God made everything. Yeah, God is pretty incredible. Well, yeah, Kellen. And so are you. Oh, what about me? You too, and everyone. Everyone watching, every boy, every girl, every grown up. We were created in the image of God, and that's special. If God's creative, then so are we. God created each of us so that we can be creative. That's great. Thanks, Kellen. You got it. I'll see you both next time. So we're meant to be creative. Yeah, all of us. In fact, that... Oh, makes you think of a question? Sure does. How creative. Reveal the question. How are you creative? Yeah, maybe you're a gifted artist and you love to paint. Or maybe you think up some of the most creative stories. Yeah, but being creative isn't just about art. Mm. No, you can be creative in other ways. Yeah, you can be creative in how you think up ways to do a math problem. Yeah, or, or you have some really creative ideas about how to help one of your friends that's having a tough time. Mm. Think about how you are creative. Ooh, or maybe you can build the Eiffel Tower out of pencils. Oh, I'm gonna need more pencils than that. All right, talk about it with each other. Uh -huh. oh. oh, hey, look, there's a big pencil. Okay, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. This can I work? help? Yeah, absolutely, hold Here, this up. And we'll put it in there. That'll hold oh, it up. that's smart. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, ready? Yeah. First one to a year wins. Ready? All right, 360. Uh, five. five. Okay, one, two, three, go. One, two, ah! three, somebody fell off. Well, we fell off five. Eight, what? I don't count. I think I'm at a hundred. Okay, oh, I think you are too. I can never be a planet.